This morning we've talked about the various ways in which frontotemporal lobar degeneration can present. Uh, there's a spectrum of clinical presentations. Um, this includes difficulty with social disorder and personality, um, difficulty with speech and language that we call aphasia. Um, also there can be movement disorders. These are involuntary movements that can be uh, intermixed with the uh, progressive aphasia and social disorder and also there can be um, Lou Gehrig's disease, motor neuron disease, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis where there's difficulty controlling the, the muscles that can be intermixed with FTD as well. We've found that overwhelmingly there are two common causes of FTLD spectrum disorder. One is a protein that's called tau. Tau is in all of our brains, and we refer to uh, an abnormal accumulation of tau as a tauopathy. Uh, tau ordinarily helps uh, the brain uh, cells function normally by moving um, um, metabolic substrate within a brain cell uh, around effectively so that the brain cells can function normally. When there's reduced tau, then the uh, 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 metabolic substrate within a uh, neuron or a brain cell uh, cannot be distributed appropriately and the brain cells become clogged up and they die. Uh, that's a very common cause of, of FTLD. The second most common cause is TDP43. Um, TDP43 um, pathology can, is associated with several different mechanisms, so we're not exactly clear about why, why TDP43 accumulates, but it seems to be caused by several different genetic conditions as well as occurring sporadically. Uh, TDP43 is ordinarily a protein that lives in the nucleus or the, the command center of a brain cell. And rather than staying in the command center, it ends up floating out into the rest of the brain cell and then into the area around the outside of the, of the brain cell. There are treatments that are being developed to block the accumulation of tau uh, and to block the abnormal effects of TDP43 accumulating in the wrong parts of the brain. All of these trials are imminent and are likely to begin over the course of the next couple of years. University of Pennsylvania is indeed one of the centers in the world for studying um, FTD and we've just started through the support of some very um, uh, generous benefactors, the, the University of Pennsylvania Frontotemporal Lobar Degeneration Center or Penn FTD Center, just to abbreviate it. And with the center, we're hoping to organize all of our activities that are focused on FTD. Some of the more recent activities include the development of new biomarkers by looking at cerebrospinal fluid so that we can identify what's causing somebody's um, um, FTD. This is a, you can think of this as a form of personalized medicine where we each have different forms of, of proteins that can um, be abnormal and can accumulate and clog up the brain cells and we're uh, able to uh, define what some of those um, abnormal proteins are. Um, another thing that we've done that's new is there was a mutation that was recently discovered that's in fact quite common in folks with FTD and motor neuron disease and this accounts for about a quarter of the individuals in our, um, in our clinic who have um, uh, a spectrum of FTD and, 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 and motor neuron disease. And this new mutation was found only um, two months ago and uh, so this is uh, very helpful for us because it now will help us develop a new uh, perspective on mechanisms that cause these kinds of diseases. We have already have a biomarker identified that we can ascertain and um, so we'll be able to now move forward in treatments for this, um, uh, uh, for this condition as well. Contact the, 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 the center here, the FTD Penn Center, and we're happy to share information. Um, also, um, there are a, a handful of other specialized centers around the country that people can, can contact uh, uh, in, in Chicago, in San Francisco, in Los Angeles, and in Baltimore. Those are the, really the, the other areas in the country where there is a focus and where there is at least some research being, uh, being conducted on, in these areas. And it will be widely um, advertised, I'm sure.